This is Pam Smith with Farm Journal Magazine. I'm here with Nick Fassler. And Nick, we've um, you're with BASF. Can you give me your title? Yeah, Pam. My, my name is Nick Fassler. I'm a technical marketing manager, and I'm responsible for headline, primarily the corn and soybean market. Okay. And we've been here with crop consultants at a meeting and talking about headline and the use of headline. It's expanded a little bit over the last couple of years, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. We've seen a, a huge uptake in the number of acres that have been treated with headlining corn. Uh, launched Initially launched a product in 2005, really started working on the corn market in 2006, 2007. And since then, we've seen a you know a continuous increase in the number of acres treated. Last year was about uh, 10 and a half million acres of corn received a fungicide application. So is most of that for plant health, or is it actually for disease preventative purposes? Um, it's a combination. I think a lot of growers are looking at the risk management standpoint as well of, of getting that uh, disease prevention product out there. And then they, they realize the yield benefits uh, from the disease control and plant health piece uh, at harvest. So, you know, we've seen those yields uh, in that 10 to 10, well, 12 to 16 bushel range on those growers' fields. So they've seen that consistent yield response and uh, helping them uh, pr produce more bushels per acre. You have a new product coming out. What's that called? Yeah, we're excited to launch Headline Amp. It's a, it's a new product for the corn market. And what we've done there is we've taken Headline and added to it a metconazole, which is the active ingredient in a, in, a, in a crumba that we sell in the wheat market. But it's a new trizol piece, and there's been a market segment of growers that have been asking for a two modes of action product from us that contains headline. So that's where we see headline amp being a perfect fit for them and giving them that product that they desire for those corn acres. When does that go on? What stage? Um, we recommend spraying headline amp. At the same time, we've been recommending headline on corn. So we're looking at that uh, full tassel up to brown soak timing, so in that BT through R3 timing. And any chance that we'll see that for soybeans as well? Um, that product currently we do not uh, plan to market into soybeans. Um, we see Headline is, is still an excellent fit for that soybean market. Uh, we do have some uh, new innovation products coming down the line. 2012-2013 uh, we do see them um, launching some more products into the corn and soybean market. Uh, new modes of action and other components that will be a good fit at that time. Awesome, thanks.